Hi everyone, uh, how are you today? I'm very glad you guys are joining my program uh, about this Bible study. And today uh, we're going to study uh, about the basics of uh, the Bible. Uh, we have to start from the basics in order to understand or go uh, in order to go deep, not uh, to go to, into deep knowledge of the Word of God. First, one has to uh, understand the basic um, message of God, because uh, the uh, the nature of the Bible is it starts from simple, and it goes to a very very complicated, uh, you know, uh, structure, so that we have to work hard to understand the message. God, uh, you know, structure the Bible that a simple child, as a, a child, can understand the love of God. For example, uh, John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This is plain, clear, and anybody can who reads understands it. I, I, actually just in, in essence of uh, um, literal understanding. Of course, the spiritual dimension is deep. One has to deal. What does it mean the love of God means? What did he, why, why God loved the world? Why does he gave, uh, why God did give his son to the world? Why? And that one is a, a more of theological questions which lead us into deep understandings of the Word of God. But now what I'm saying when I say we start from a simple means who God is, how God wants us to, to, to love Him, how God, uh, uh, you know, uh, wrote the Bible, and how do we have to approach that Bible, how do we study the Bible, the basic guidelines, because that is the most important thing that a Christian should do in order to go to, into deep uh, knowledge of uh, the profound knowledge of the Word of God. So my message today is, what does it mean to be born of God? What does it mean to be born of God? <clears throat> um, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna um, mention some of the verses, uh, Bible verses, and then um, I'm gonna uh, say uh, something about them so that we can understand. First, uh, to be born of God is to have a, to start a relationship with God. One can be born of God only, only through the Word of God. Only if a person reads and understands the Word of God and the message of God. It's not through dream, it's not through revelation, it's not through some kind of philosophy or philosophical thinking. Rather, it is based on the Word of God. The Word of God is a foundation. It's a foundation and the root of everything if we want to know and uh, learn about God and then um, um, if we want to come to God to know um, the love of God. The love of God is that God gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die on our behalf to save us from our sins. So that's the love of God. This is the theme of the Bible. The theme of the Bible. The message of salvation. The message of the good news is that God loved the world with, with no difference in, 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 in race or in geographical location or anything else but it is based on the mercy of God 
God provided his salvation, his medicine to humanity, so that all humanity, regardless, regardless of their race, their ethnicity, or whatever, or geographical location, God wants a relationship with them. And then he gave them his son. He gave us his son. And whosoever believes in the, in the son of God is not condemned, but have everlasting life. That is a, the message of God. Nowadays, because there are so, so many in, uh, religions and doctrines of religions, human beings are confused. And some of them say, oh, these are nonsense religions, and we don't have to worry about them. Just be, good, be a good person. That's enough to have a relationship with God. Some of them say, keep the Ten Commandment and just live. But our sin demands more than that more than that. A payment must be paid, a uh, made, I'm sorry to say, a payment must be made on our behalf so that we can have everlasting relationship with God or as our Father, so that we can be a, fam a family, the family of God. And that payment was made through Jesus Christ, in Him alone, not through religion, what, I mean, including Christianity. So there are so many twisted Christian religions which twist the word of God and make the word of God a mock. But the most important thing is not whether you are Hindu, whether you are a Muslim, whether you are a Christian or atheist or whatever. When you come to God, you have to come according to the word of God. And you have to have a relationship. And that relationship is through Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ. We read um, from uh, the Bible. I'm going to read some verses from the Bible. So that it can help us to grasp the main point of the Bible. Okay, uh, the, 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 I'm sorry, the main point of God's message. I'm reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was... Uh, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of man. In him was life. It's talking about Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ, God, the Son of God, came into the world. He, the one who created the universe, this huge universe, this huge creation came into the world so that he wanted to save the sinful man. It's not because of their, it's not, Christ is not religion. Christ is a personal relationship with God. To believe in Christ, Jesus means to have a personal relationship to, uh, with God, the God of heaven, the God who created you and you and me. Now, let me continue reading. In him was life, and the light, in, who, in him was life, and the life was the light of man. The life was the light of man. It's amazing. The light of man. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness compre comprehended it not. There, uh, now, this is the light. The light of the world. The whole world, the Bible tells us, the whole world is in darkness. That's why there are so many religions, so many philosophies, 
so many philosophical thinkings, so many, you know, um, uh, schools of thought which deny the existence of God and then, the, who, you know, try to destroy the message of God. Those are so many, real, uh, you know, uh, foundations with the uh, groups and personal personalities who are opposing the word of God through religion. Take us, for example, the uh, uh, religion of Islam and other religions, as a matter of fact, which totally oppose the love of God and the salvation of God. And man forms his own, establishes his own foundation, uh, salvation through, you know, uh, something which is baseless, something which cannot bring us to God, which cannot make peace between us and God. But the only one that God sent us is Jesus Christ, the light who shines the darkness. And the darkness, it doesn't mean it's the sun, like um, it's going to come and then shine the darkness of the world the, the, when it is the night, but the darkness in our heart, the darkness in our mind, the darkness which governs us. Man is in turmoil. That's what all these wars and all this hatred, all this fighting, you know, uh, persistence in, 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 in the life of man, humanity. Humanity is corrupted and needs a savior, and the savior is Jesus Christ, who shines in our heart and brings salvation to us. Now, I'm going to read another part. But as many as received him, to them, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Amazing. It is being born of God. It's not being born of one from one's mother, of ma one, one's mother or father is, is a different. That's a physical um, uh, coming, appearing into this world, coming, being born, having physical body and coming into existence. That's the physical nature. And also there is supreme birth. That is a spiritual resurrection. Spiritually, man is dead. Is deprived of knowing anything about God because he separated from God and there is a cross the cross of Christ which stands between God and man that can create the link create the perfect relationship through God we have this amazing through Christ Jesus we have this amazing relationship with God so to be born of God means to become child of God, to become a daughter of God, to become a fam the family a member of the family of God, which were born not of blood, that means of this physical, nor of the will of the flesh, uh, that's from Adam, nor of the will of man, but of God of God by the Spirit of God and I will continue and read uh, some part other part of the Bible which will help us in uh, to go deep into the um, the message of salvation John 3 16 uh, 3 John 3 chapter 3 uh, verse 1 there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus a ruler of the Jews the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou dost, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, born again he cannot see 
the kingdom of God. Nicodemus says unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Born again. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So, the whole message of salvation is being born of the Spirit. The Spirit of God comes and dwells in us and transforms our spirit, the inner being. It doesn't transform our physical body, our, our face, our hair, or our genetic, anything. But it transforms us from the Spirit, deep in our spirit. The Spirit of God works in us so that there will be a change in our spirit to be uh, into the form of the likeness of the God, in, uh, the likeness of God. From the beginning, when God created man, God breathed the spirit, he breathed uh, uh, on the man, and man became a living being. But when Adam, uh, what I'm talking about man is our forefather, our father, the first father, Adam, and our mother, Eve, when they were, when they had a relationship, when they were created and have had a relationship with God. So they rebelled against God and God took the spirit from them. That's what death means. Death in a spiritual sense doesn't mean that a person is going to die the same day because we read in Genesis chapter 3, the, uh, ch chapter 2 and 3, that God told Adam, The day you eat of the fruit, thou shalt die. But he didn't die. He lived nine, more than 900 years. He lived more than 900 years. But he was separated from God because his spirit was dead. So that the spirit, the dead, the, the dead spirit, is revived, resuscitated by God, so that we can have a relationship with, perfect relationship with God. And so God restores, even makes more, more than restoration, it glorifies it. The glory of God dwells in our relationship. So Jesus Christ came into the world to give us everlasting life, to lighten our darkness. If anybody is in Christ, he is in the light of the kingdom of God. He is no more in darkness. That's what Jesus is telling the religious ruler, Nicodemus, named uh, as Nicodemus, a Jew, was a, a ruler of that time at the time of Jesus. He came by night. Why by night? Because that man was in darkness. In a spiritual sense, the man who came to Jesus was in darkness. Remember, when we read the first parts of John 1, we saw that the light shines in the darkness. And this man, religious ruler, engulfed with the darkness of the world, it came to Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ told him that he needs light. He needs to be born of the Spirit. And then that man believed and was saved. We can read other parts of the Bible, because when we understand the Bible, we don't get it in one place. But a little there, a little there, a little there, a little there, we put together and uh, come to uh, understand what the real message is. Now, let me continue with this uh, conversation of Jesus Christ and um, Nicodemus. Jesus says, uh, John 3, 6, um, uh, three, uh, John 3, 5, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, 
that which is born of the spirit is a spirit you know there are two births one is born of this the flesh as we you know come from our parents who are born of the spirit uh, the, the flesh from we get we inherit all the genetic makeup of our parents and then come into the world and there is another dim dimension of that that is being born of the spirit of god and to have a relationship with god means to be born of the spirit of god so that we have the form of you know we take the form uh, the likeness of god in a sense the likeness of god we come to the perfection perfect relationship with god we become clean how how can we, how can somebody be clean yeah through jesus christ the shedding of the blood of Jesus Christ makes that person washes and makes him clean, makes her clean, so that she or he can have a relationship with God. That which was born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is a spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, you must be born again. So what do you think about this? Are you in, 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 in religion, you know, in, in, in the religion of the world? They, can't, they don't bring salvation to you. Only Jesus can. Are you following humanity, human, human teachers? Do you trust the flesh? Your imam or your uh, uh, priest, preacher or whatever? Are you pr trusting in them? No. Forget that. Trust in the Lord God. Try to learn from Him. Come to know God. How, how, can, how can one come to Jesus, come to God? Because he can, the Bible says, He can come to, she can come to Jesus, to God, through faith. Faith. What's faith? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You read the Bible, you pray before God, you ask Him to open your to open your spiritual eyes, and God opens that, and you start to see how wonderful the message of the gospel is. And you can you will see that God is gonna work in your life to uh uh bring you closer 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 to his you know kingdom that will be a transformation so today i finish here and then the message is what does it mean to be born of god to be born of god is to be to come to god through jesus christ to know God to I will read one verse and then I'll be done John 5 to uh, 5 24 verily verily I say unto you the hour is coming uh, 24 verily verily I say unto you he that hears my word and believes on him that sent to me has everlasting life and shall not come to into condemnation but is passed from death to life Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they shall hear, they that hear shall live. They that hear shall live. Do you want to be alive? Do you want to be spiritually resurrected and have a, a, a pure relationship with God, apart from any religion? Come to God, open your Bible, start to read with the Word of God. If you have any question, you can email me or you can leave uh, the, the, you know, uh, down uh, the, the, under the video where the comment, you can, you can send the comment and then I will answer it. God willing, in the next time, we'll have a um, discussion and uh, question and answer